Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, and it is time for another Beer Money Review. So, I know Black Friday is coming up, and a lot of you are going to be looking for gifts for family or friends, or maybe something for yourself that's just, you know, low cost for Christmas. Or at least we perceive as low cost anyway, but that's a video for another personal finance topic. I noticed that I have yet to review a single cashback reward app, and part of that is because we do put a little bit more focus on the play to earn slash all in one kind of cashback aspect here. That earns us money through things like surveys, watching ads, and playing games. Well, for today and the next month or so, we're going to turn that on its head a little bit. I'm going to start reviewing some cashback reward sites for the holidays. So for the first one, I'm going to be reviewing my friend Jane Noir. She is the channel moderator here. Absolutely swears on this one. Uh, this is a review on Top Cash Back. Top Cash Back was founded in 2005 by computer programmers Oliver Rag and Mike Tompkins. And I found this really interesting article about them on a UK business website called Business Live. You can look at this and it kind of explains what they do, how they started out as a comparison website, and eventually turned into a full-on rewards app focusing on internet shopping. They have over 5,000 retailers, and the main focus is to earn cash back on whatever you shop. It's pretty simple. It's similar to many other cashback rewards sites like Rakuten, where they do the cashback rewards after you purchase, rather than a discount up front like a Groupon would. So looking here, you see all the different retailers that they have. They have the uh, retailers here at the top. Um, you see the top picks here. Uh, for me, at least, my top picks are Vitacost, Belk, and Best Buy. They do have a lot of big retailers here. Um, Lowe's is also on here. Uh, they got some uh, larger name brands like Adidas and Converse. And then they have a bunch of VPN ones, which there's a lot of cash back for some of the VPN ones, which is interesting. Now, most of the cash back is in percentages, but there are fixed dollar amount ones as well if you buy specific products. Like, for example, and I think I just saw this somewhere around here. Yeah, here we go. There's actually Walmart, believe it or not. Now, with Walmart, um, just like with Swagbucks, only certain categories will get you cash back. In this case, you'll get 2% on electronics, video games, party celebration, books and magazines, 11% on appliances, home, toys, apparel, and other stuff in this category. Ooh, trading cards for 11%. Interesting. And flash deals for 15%. And we don't know what these flash deals are, but Walmart will have those flash deals available at that time. So uh, you'd have to go to their website to find out about those flash deals. Now make sure to always read the fine print beforehand because, for example, if you bought like an Apple laptop or something like that from Walmart, you are not eligible for said cash back. There's fine print on just about everything, uh, every single vendor that is available here. But for the most part, you should be able to get the cash back link. They don't just offer uh, cash back and other promotions. They also offer buying gift cards as well. So what you have to do is you have to go to gift cards here and go to shop gift cards and we'll click this. And here we are. So this is very similar to the uh, my gift cards plus that you see with swag bucks. Uh, the percent cash backs are also somewhat similar. Uh, and you can see here they have a lot more to choose from, though. Uh, for example, Annie Ann's 4.66% cash back. Um, oh, here we go. Bahama Breeze for 6% cash back. If you don't have, like, a Sam's Club or Costco membership, this is honestly a good way to get some cash back on a gift card for a place that you normally visit frequently. Uh, as an example for us, I'm trying to find one here that we go to... Uh, do they have Logan's maybe? Let me see. I'm going to look at Logan's. Uh, yes, they do. So with Logan's Roadhouse, for example, I can click on this. And I can choose my gift card amount. And I'm going to take the $50 and I would get 4.66% cash back. That would be added to my account. So 4.66% cash back should be something like, uh, oh boy, I think $2.33 if I'm not mistaken. Now top cash back. 
guarantees that they are giving away the highest cashback rewards possible for each of their vendors. And what they're saying is that if you see a better cashback offer elsewhere, they will guarantee to beat it. And they even have claims where you can actually show if you have proof of a higher cashback, then they will try to beat that offer. So you can go and start a claim here. Uh, you can make the purchase via top cash back. You submit a claim showing where there is the details needed to show the higher cash back. Then they will beat the offer and uplift said cash back. They also have a mobile app. And matter of fact, we're going to go to it and take a look in a moment. But apparently they do offer exclusive deals on said mobile app. So let's go ahead and head out to the mobile app and see what they got available. So we are here in the mobile app and it looks like the main difference is you're able to see a few more um, kind of more specialty stores. Okay, Bulk is in a specialty store, but let's see Paracone MD and there's Radisson Hotel Group and there are exclusive offers here that I don't think I was able to see on the oh StubHub for 10% cash back. Well, some of these were in the uh, computer, but I did not. I don't think I saw Radisson too much. The main thing that I like about the mobile app, though, is it is a lot better categorized. Um, I know you can just go to the categories on the website and just click on a category and you'd be able to see everything there. But it's nice to have everything kind of at your fingertips this quickly. Uh, you can go to more here and there are other options as well. You can even get to gift cards and same thing here. Shop gift cards. And here we go. There's all the gift cards. So once in a while, they will offer like flash bonuses as well. They'll give you like a $3 bonus if you go to and purchase anywhere for like $15 or more. And then there are times where they will just give you bonus cash straight up, which is great. And this is on top of the $10 that you would get starting out. So yeah, you do get a $10 sign up bonus on top of it. Now there is technically no cash out minimum, but your options for a no cash out minimum are limited to an Amex virtual reward card an Amazon e-gift card. Uh, there is also a Target e-gift card as well. And then I think down here, there is the PayPal and ACH bank transfer if you give details. Honestly, PayPal and ACH transfer should be enough, but they do offer bonuses if you cash out with a gift card. Um, me personally, I would go with the, either the 2% Walmart gift card, which is somewhere around here. I'm trying to show it probably down here at the bottom. They probably put an alphabetical order. Oh, there's also a Sam's Club one for 5%. Actually, you know what? The Sam's Club one would be better. So yeah, the 5% the Sam's Club bonus gift card would be one that I would use. Um, if you can't wait and you want that minimum, there is the 7% e-gift card bonus from Target for those of you that shop at Target as well. Ah, here's the Walmart one up here. Yeah, so it's a minimum payment of $5. And there are some places where you can get a minimum payment of like $10. $15 for Disney, $15 for Southwest, $100 for Carnival, and so on. Well, $100 is a lot for Carnival. But I would suggest just going with the transfer, or if you really want a bonus, to get like one of those with a short minimum payout like Walmart, or, you know, Target and Amazon are also pretty good as well. So the pros with Top Cashback, there is no minimum cash out. There are lots of retailers for cashback rewards. And there is some free bonus money with no strings attached at times, but they do come a little sparingly. The cons of it is there's not really much to do other than spend money to get money back. It is definitely a cashback rewards app for that reason. And the vendors are kind of a little specialist. And if you plan to pay a little more to get a little cash back on the end, you might want to do your research first to make sure that you just can't get it for cheaper elsewhere. My final rating with this top cashback is going to get a green. And the reason why I'm giving it a green is because of the amount of selections that is available. I was originally going to give it a blue, but there's just way too much here available. And with the no cash out minimum and with all the bonuses that they have available and just how long they've been around, like they've been around for almost 20 years now, I feel like giving it anything less than a green would be sort of an injustice. So that's the review of Top Cash Back. I think I've gone through pretty much everything here. Um, please go to the referral link on the description below. That is my channel moderator, Jane Noir's link. Please go to it and click on it. If you want to check out Top Cash Back, you do get a $10 bonus upon sign up. 
And that's pretty much the video, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to comment on what you think of Top Cashback after you've given it a try. And don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. I'm Pharaoh Silver, signing out. I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.